So as the designer for this space, I had the luxury of tackling the entire space all at once uh, to create a very cohesive look, but that isn't necessary. Um, it can be done simply by creating a much more united feel in terms of your floor, your floor color, your wall color, or adding pieces of trim, you know, that unite rooms. And my, my trick is to create a very, very sort of subtle backstory to your space and then have hits of a more vibrant color really tell the story of your personality. From a color standpoint, we were trying to achieve a very masculine, subtle, muted backdrop using grays, blacks, silvers to create a very cohesive look throughout. And we tried to do that in terms of color, in terms of texture, and also in terms of a few running themes that can be found in different rooms throughout. The first challenge I had to face in redesigning this space was to deal with the issue of their flooring, which was this very 1980s ubiquitous uh, honey-colored oak parquet that needed an update. We decided to go with a darker color as that would have given us a much more modern backdrop to the story that I wanted to create in the space. Aside from updating the floor, other tricks that I employed to update the space were to have wall color and trim color and trim style carry through to different rooms. Uh, we also took some shapes that were already found in the existing flooring and applied them to other surfaces in the space. And that became a running theme throughout. Uh, so a designer trick of the trade um, that I like to employ, especially when doing a dark colored floor, is to use a dark colored baseboard. It serves two functions, that is to uh, hide scuff marks along your baseboard, baseboards being employed for that purpose, to hide scuff marks on your walls. And if the baseboard and floor colors are closely matched, it also makes the room feel much larger. In terms of the challenge of dealing with the master bedroom, uh, we didn't want to do too much other than give it a fresh, more freshened look. And I wanted to keep the running theme of masculine dark flooring into the master bedroom, but use a broad loom for it. Uh, so I chose this sort of two-tone striate wood grain looked, look carpet um, that is a very masculine platform for the room. As you can imagine, the 1980s uh, space required uh, a major renovation to the kitchen. Uh, I continued the floor treatment into the space and that sort of determined where I went with the other finishes in, in the room. Uh, for the backsplash, I decided to actually take the shapes to be found in the floor pattern and apply them to the wall in using just your standard 3x6 glass subway tile. But the shapes that are found in traditional parquet flooring were then applied to the wall. And this theme actually ran through other elements of the kitchen as well in terms of the wall covering that I chose, which was a vinyl, easily wipeable surface and also into the window treatment fabric. So creating a cohesive space can be something that is very easily done. By employing a few tricks of the trades that designers use, you can have any space in your home read as one.